Yeah, we should switch to Bly. Yeah, I want more cute moments with her mom. <laughs> I don't know if you were planning for them, Emily, but <laughs> we demand them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, meanwhile... <laughs> Yeah, well, because, like, you know, Laura was going to try and get more information out about that subject. Yeah, so yeah. I want to know how that goes. Yeah, we want to know how that subject goes. I hope you remember what it is, Laura, because I don't. <laughs> oh, oh, your oh, mom's job. The being fired thing. Yeah. Do you guys want a scene where um, Y is telling your characters about it? Or is there going to be see, be a scene of just the audience? I think, I think it's just for yeah. you and your mom and the audience. So I don't it's, know I if we necessarily need to know unless it turns into, like, I need to re- avenge my mom. Should we start where they're being all cute and making... Yeah! Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, the dumplings are made of potatoes, right? That's what she, what her mom said. Yeah, the potato dumplings. Potato dumplings. Yeah, Unless you, you want make them with potato flour. <laughs> I know, because that's how my grandma would make them. Oh. Yeah, I guess they'd have different kinds of filling. So I imagine that we're like in the kitchen, just chilling at the table together. Yeah, she's kind of kneading the dough. At one point, she uh, takes a bit of the dough and puts it on your nose, going, boop. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Let's just stay here forever. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely enjoying the dumpling thing more than I would admit. Yeah. It's really nice well, to spend time with my mom again. Well, we're not there, so you can act like you would when we're not there. Um, You're like, finally I can be myself again. (laughs) Smile for the first time in ten years. (laughs) I'm free. Yeah, I guess I'm like a little bit more relaxed. A little bit happier when you see me so far. Um... I guess we make small talk, and then I ask her to talk more about this Master Eltsu. And ask her um, that she said he worked for him just one day a week. Yeah, so this would normally be the day that I'd be working for him. I still have my other contracts, like tomorrow I... We'll go on to clean someone else's house. So, like I said, it's fine. And this master, how did he normally treat you? Uh, Normally he wasn't around. I mean, most people tend to uh, stay out of the room, rooms the help are cleaning. Did he seem like a bad guy to you, or do you have any suspicions about him? No. He seemed kind of nervous, I guess, that last day. So like I said, maybe something to do with trade secrets, I don't know. The name that he said, does it is it any is it familiar to you? No. I haven't heard of it either. What do you think he could have meant? I'm not sure. He didn't really give too much context. All I really know about him is that you know, he's one of the few merchants who goes to Lesser Theorfen to do trading. Uh, it's a country that's um, northwest of Aramith. It's kind of, um, it's not that far away, but it feels, I don't want to really say barbaric, but you know, it has more rugged feel, I guess. Like, if people talk about Theorfen, especially lesser Theorfen. It's more rugged country and mountain folk. Or, you know, 
people in marshes and swamps in the south. A quick snippet about Lesser Thirfen. Cool. Lesser Thirfen, relatively poor nation, many hunters and trappers. After splitting from Thirfen, they called themselves the Enlightened Repu Republic of Nosfen, but literally everyone else calls them Lesser Thirfen. Uh. <laughs> because um, Thirfen in the south, they split from Lesser Thirfen when the people there complained that those in the south kept all the wealth from trading with Aramith to themselves. Those in the south didn't disagree. They did disagree with the idea that the government should share and support those in the north equally with, you know, maintained roads and things. Yeah. All right. Continuing on. So I was thinking I might tell my mom like a little bit about what we've been doing, not like a lot of detail. Um, <laughs> uh -oh. all, all the potentially illegal things we've been doing. Yeah. Well, that's the way to wear your hair. Just, just that, like, I don't know. Not, not that like we've run into trouble since we've come back. But that we're aware that there's like maybe some political stuff going on, and I just like ask her. The dead guy. <laughs> yeah, and I just ask her if like with all these houses she cleans, if she's heard anything, she knows more of what's going on. That's really like, cutely making a little dumpling. <laughs> just kind of like rolling them up into little shapes. Well, I don't often uh, clean nobles' houses, just usually the merchants, uh, sometimes the upwardly mobile, but the noble houses will, will often have like a full-time staff of cleaning people, so I haven't heard anything from them. Is there anything you want me to uh, keep an eye out for? Mm. Anything about dead people? <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, Bly, always interested in dead people. <laughs> <laughs> what should she be look like? <laughs> I need some help. What should she be working, looking out for? Do you guys think of anything? Probably something related to whatever the name was of the person who died. Yeah. <laughs> Which I don't remember. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> All I remember was that he also had a guard a guard emblem of some sort on him. Oh, yeah. And there was a whole thing with, like, the ring and the necklace, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there, so there was a ring. Yeah. There was a ring, but that's not what he took. So yeah. at least I didn't hallucinate that. Yeah. I guess I'll tell her, yes. Just, and if she just hears anything that seems out of the ordinary, or any other instance, like with Master L2, where they seem particularly upset about what you overheard, to just keep in touch with me and let me know. Of course. And uh, if, if you want me to look into anything else. I mean, I'll still be here. Mom. Maybe we should come up with a secret code. If we, like, write letters to each other that you know something. And then... Pineapple. Change another trip to come. Turnip sock. <laughs> <laughs> You're blind. Turnip sock. Love, Mom. <laughs> 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 that stuff would be hard to put in, in a letter so maybe we should come up with the code and I'll try my best to come back well where will you be staying while you're here because you could always stay with us uh, otherwise yeah. I'd need to know where to send the letters mm -hmm. You can I stay don't with me. <laughs> <laughs> I think Send it to the dingy paladin school. 
<laughs> like, can, like, like, like I come back and I'm like, hey, cat, uh, this is this is my cat, and, and I point at Laura at Bly, <laughs> and she's like, mm, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> did she have really, to take the test? Too, I don't though? really see a reason for you staying anywhere else unless you want to stay somewhere else, Laura. I just, yeah, I'll I'll stay at home like for yeah. now. But I that's a good I, idea, though. I like that yeah. idea in the future. And your mother's not even going to make you take a test. No. Yeah, she just it pulls out an ethics test. Okay, <laughs> to come back home, I have to make sure that... <laughs> <laughs> that you're still the darling Bly I remember. <laughs> if you had to choose to kill someone, would you do it? <laughs> the correct answer is yes. <laughs> oh, you were such a sweet, darling, violent child. <laughs> I know love. <laughs> I remember the time that I couldn't get you to stop kicking the neighbor child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what fond memories. <laughs> How's that child doing now? Oh, Very yeah. successful, I hear. <laughs> Half the stuff we say, I don't know whether it's actually canon or not. <laughs> 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 Maybe after that we just make our little dumplings in silence. Yeah, you just kind of enjoy each other's company. Um, the light coming in through the window and uh, the smells of home. Okay, so should I check out that shady magic school tomorrow or do that before we go back to Bly? Let's do whatever Emily tells us to do. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know that that's how Dungeons and Dragons works. <laughs> um. Do we just want to go to the school and get over it? Okay, I don't have to linger unless they... Make me linger. I don't know. Unless they pull out their pyramid <laughs> scheme on you. <laughs> yeah. Do you a installments of one hundred gold? <laughs> yeah. We have we have a test for you too. Do you a give us lots of money? B give us even more money. C give us all your money. Or D give us other people's money too. There is no give us no money answer. <laughs> Is Tarsus outside of the thing? Is she waiting for us? Oh, right. You're still uh, talking to Lamarck. Um, yeah, you're kind of leaving, and yeah. you pick up Tarsus. I'm like, she knew someone by your, with your name who's dead. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing I say. How interesting. Yeah, uh, um, but yeah, I guess... Um, she thinks we could check out this place, which might be a complete cheat. So let's go. All right. Are you getting everything in today? Because uh, I actually have some things to do tomorrow and I won't be around. Um, I think other than this, my only other thing is I'm going to want to send a letter out, but I can probably... Where do you go to send out a letter? <laughs> That's easy enough. Okay. Uh, well, I haven't written it yet, but, um, but yeah, just so long as I know where to go. I'm sure I'll be perfectly safe going there on my own. What could go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> to mail letters, you'll just need to go to the Allied Post. There are several mm -hmm. places throughout the city. I'll point one out to you as we're going to pass one. Okay, so I guess we go to the place, and <laughs> unless anything happens that before we get there, you get to the place. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I did not see that coming. Does it does it look as ostentatious as this 
uh, as uh, she foretold. Um, Since it's being taken over. Uh, as you're kind of walking along, you're in a part of town where the buildings are very narrow but very tall. The school itself seems to consist of a couple disparate buildings. There is like a sign out the front of one, so you, that's like. Um, seems to be more administrative. Uh, they're fairly average looking. I mean, it's not like it's in a terrible part of town, but it's not. It's not as nice as when you were on Innsmeet Street. <laughs> With, like, okay. the very elaborate tavern. Yeah. And I guess I'm still looking fancy. I mean, how fancy are your fancy clothes, really? Quick, roll a d20. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 20, they are 17. Aw, oh, dang. That's... <laughs> that sounds fancier than... <laughs> your parents could really afford. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> and you've also been on the road. Maybe, He's... like, in his parents' eyes, he's a 17. <laughs> <laughs> Still not a 20, but a good, solid 17. <laughs> we saved up. <laughs> okay. So, I assume there's a door... Is there any, a person at the door? There's no door. <laughs> there are no walls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I approach the window. Yeah, you just have to climb through the window to get in. No, um, there is, in fact, a door. <laughs> okay, I approach the door. Okay. Roll initiative. Do no. <laughs> I rolled a four. Okay, quick. Just for fun, I'll roll my D22. Oh, I did poorly. I rolled a three. <laughs> That's with your bonus? Yeah, my bonus is plus zero. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you were surprised by the door. <laughs> did, did, did you roll initiative for the door? Should I? Do you want me to roll initiative for the door? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. What's the door's initiative, Mott? Minus five, but it still managed to beat you all. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it got a six. <laughs> We're like, whoa. <laughs> I walk into the door. Okay. Great start. I walk into you. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing correctly, aren't we? <laughs> no response. <laughs> I overlook obvious solutions in favor of complicated ones. All right, so I assume you eventually managed to get through the door. <laughs> yeah, eventually. There's a fairly plain room through it. I, there's someone at a desk, and it looks reasonably well kept, but nothing too fancy. <clears throat> Hello, fine individual. I am a prospective student and would like to do prospective student things here. The guy looks up. Um, hello, prospective student. What sorts of prospective student things would you like to do? Like sit in on a class or uh, talk to one of the professors or a tour? Yeah, those sound good. Those sound like normal prospective student things that prospective students do. I'm fairly certain that they were mentioned by my dads when I was about to come here. All right. Excellent. Uh, hmm. He looks around for a moment, finds a closed sign that he puts on top of his desk, and then <laughs> comes around <laughs> to uh, <laughs> lead you around. So, budget cuts, huh? Uh, 
Yes, well, at least we're still open. Right then. So this is more the administration building. Um, you probably won't be spending a whole lot of time here. Um, it has, it also includes housing and offices for the teachers. Uh, but then if you'll follow me, and he kind of um, goes out. Uh, by the way, Tarsus isn't really following you here. She's just kind of, she seems to be getting tired of like leading you around different places. And uh, she's just kind of staying outside waiting for you to be done with your uh, okay. school stuff. Um, like she's not going to uh, play the interested mom in prospective studenting or anything. <laughs> you kind of get led around to a couple of the different buildings. One of them is, you know, fairly standard school building, although maybe a slightly more vertical one than we might be used to. Desks, tech, yeah. test books, textbooks. Um, it seems like, uh, you know, it's kind of getting towards later afternoon and classes aren't really in session at the moment. Um, How do the students seem? Like, do they seem, I don't know, engaged? Happy? <laughs> they're, they're just like blank voids <laughs> staring out. <laughs> I mean, there are a few here and there, but um, since uh, classes are mostly over for the day, um, they're kind of like... Uh, some some of them are just you know sitting around um, looking through their textbooks or um, one guy just like has his head on the desk and is sleeping. And uh, most importantly, are any of them cute? Roll a cuteness check. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a twelve. Not super great, I guess. Um, <laughs> uh, your guide kind of like gives you a few facts here and there about, um, you know, this is where we hold the larger seminars um, that anyone in the community is welcome to attend. Uh, we th have those maybe once a month. Um, if we uh, have professors that are interested in doing it at the time. Um, we do seem to have some pretty good professors right now, I'll have to say. You sound surprised. I'll admit that we don't have, you know, the greatest funds of the different schools, but we do still attract some rising stars. Um, some of them like are- Like me. Recent, still recent graduates, but they're very uh, engaged in their subjects and good at what they do. Over here is a practice room where students can uh, practice out, in theory, what they have learned, or pra practice what they learned in theory. Uh, you can see by the scorch marks on the wall. Um, and so it kind of goes on like that. Um, yeah. One building seems to be more for the uh, uh, lecture hall type room, and another building has um, more like music practice rooms with a few different you know instruments around. Um, but are there bee, bee smashers? Couple. I, I mean, but they I'm, they look, um, you know, a little worn. They're kind of practice ones. Um, yeah, I'm also proficient in one of those little harp things and another instrument. Another instrument? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was checking on my sheet, and I guess I never picked it. <laughs> <laughs> I see. 
<laughs> a kazoo. I'm, no. <laughs> I'm the best another instrument player around. Is that just what it's called? It's like the person who uh, made the first one was just like, I'll call this another instrument. Because they're great at naming things. <laughs> Yeah, they, 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 uh, yes, exactly. Okay. It, it's very unusual. Okay. Kind of like a cross between bagpipes and an accordion and... And kazoo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, with a little xylophone snuck in. I feel like I've turned, like, I've just been following you, and my face has turned into one of those, like, <laughs> blank list students from before, because I'm just like, this seems really boring. Uh -oh. I'm just like, <laughs> So Edward likes it. He sees the stringed instruments and is like, string. <laughs> <laughs> you are serenaded by the cat. It's surprisingly good. <laughs> but is it better than Ben? <laughs> Do we need to roll? No. Performance checks against each other. Oh, okay. Okay, so do I... I guess if I want to talk to a person... Um, you're talking to a person right now. <laughs> <laughs> like a student person? Maybe? To see what they think about the place? Get, like, the candid... Well, if you ask that, then they're going to go hunt down the student who's going to, you know, tell you the best story. You just got to pick someone and go. Yeah, okay. I I'll... say pointing at some random person behind us. Okay, well, maybe I'll pick whichever student happened to be the cutest. Because... <laughs> <laughs> out, out of the 12 students that were there one of them was cute <laughs> yeah so I talked to that student okay what do you say to the student so you tell don't me know about me, but <laughs> you're cute <laughs> oh well I was just going to lead with so uh, what do you have to say about your academic experience at this place I'm considering attending here and would like to know more about uh, the pros and cons. He's like, this is great. <laughs> I love it. Blah. <laughs> and like, he seems to be looking behind you at, you know, your guide who's gesticulating <laughs> with his hands. Um, no. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Kind of sudden, I guess. I, uh, I think it's, it's fine. It's good. What class are you? Well, uh, right now I'm undeclared. Have you tried the Bard program? I did, but uh, I'm not very good at instruments actually. But it's interesting learning about all these different theories and stuff of magic. I like theories. I say my eyes get like really wildly excited. <laughs> we're, all, we're all just like, whoa. <laughs> Everyone else backs up a step. <laughs> what are your favorite theories? Oh man, it is too late for me to be coming up with. Like... You could just be like, uh, I didn't really stick around long enough to actually care about any of that. <laughs> <laughs> that way we can crush Ben with that statement too. Do you like neo-hermetic uh, Taoist trigram divinitronic uh, pseudo- Neoplatonic, <laughs> uh, Kabbalistic, integral spiritualism. Well, I guess it's an interesting theory, but I think Kurzweiler's uh, argument kind of 
you know, totally blows that up. I mean, you know, has a giant hole in it. But what if it was designed that way because the universe has a hole in it? Like a... <laughs> and I'm like, it's more likely <laughs> that you were designed with a hole. <laughs> 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 in your head. <laughs> So you subscribe to, like, a toroid theory? Yeah, I, I think possibly even multiply toroid. Hmm. I think that best accounts for the way that the uh, alignment diagram is n-dimensional. If you include di uh, various divine tangents. Do you think that's the kind of thing that uh, they have to offer here? It would be discussions on this these kinds of things, because I would be definitely open to hearing from alternative from you, I mean, metaphysical other people. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what I've been studying. OK. Uh, <laughs> what's your name, by the way? Let me go look at my list of names. <laughs> <laughs> he says. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember where I put it. <laughs> we can call him Chad. No, he's not a Chad. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. I would have told you to stay away. <laughs> no offense to any viewers who might be named a Chad. <laughs> Fun fact. Apparently, Chad is a slang term for cool in Polish, so you know, all of you guys named Chad are actually cool. Could go one way or the other. Opposing forces. Anyway, his name is uh, Zavid. Zavid? Yeah. Ooh. Classy. <laughs> That's my act what I actually say. Ooh, classy. I'm I'm Clawin. I'm a bard. <laughs> But I also like Arcana. And I feel like I should just step in and ruin the mood. Should I step in and ruin the mood? So, sure. Yeah, <laughs> do, do it. Do it in the middle of one of my sentences. Oh, so, sure. Uh, hey there. Have you been? <laughs> I'm Scar. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, hi. Are you looking into coming here too? Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. Hey, do you, do you like illusionary flowers? Okay. So, 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 what do you think? Do you, do you want to do this thing? Or do you want to apprentice with that other person, huh? I wonder if I could do both. And I'm like, well, do whatever you want. Your guide is also still kind of hanging around here awkwardly. Oh. And he <laughs> breaks in and says, uh, we do offer part-time studentship. Oh, that might be a good way to start out. Also, I need to figure out where to sleep. Uh, uh, and then I get really flushed because I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> You're like... <laughs> and avoid eye contact with... <laughs> Should be. Uh, well, I can't help you there, the guide says, because uh, we don't have housing for all the students um, anywhere what if in we the city. Throw in, what, what if we throw an Edward in the deal, I say? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't gesture anything, I just say Edward. <laughs> 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 you know, two students for the price of one. You can cram them both in the same room. <laughs> it's tempting, but I'm afraid I'll have to pass. <laughs> ah, um, dang it. <laughs> uh, mostly, our uh, mode of operation seems to be we can give housing to the teachers and lecturers, uh, which uh, can be a good way to get them to stay on with us, um, but 
We don't have the facilities to house the students. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, you could just stay with me. <laughs> Would they make me take a test? I don't know, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them that I, like, would obey like <laughs> rules i'm like rules are great <laughs> what are you talking about like where do you stay i say to Javid and then look away <laughs> oh well i'm local so uh i just live with my parents still <laughs> oh maybe i could stay with uh, that uh lamarck or I could stay at the Paladin place. Or maybe I could ask Bly. She has nice parents. Well, at least. And they uh, have a floor. <laughs> she always stay with me. I'm sure, she, I'm sure she wouldn't it, mind being way, woken up by my serenades every morning. Either person you choose, you get a floor out of the deal. <laughs> choose me, you get a floor. Choose Laura, you get a floor. Oh, well, that's yes. better that. That's was... better than where I slept before I was adopted. There was I also the... Floor. <laughs> Sometimes I didn't even get a ground to sleep on. There was also um, the black sheep bar that you stayed at last night. Um, and, you know, I think once you actually contact your parents um, and tell them where you're staying, they'll uh -oh. start sending you, you know, a little bit of money each week to... Um, okay. Yeah, for, to, like, lift costs. Yeah, for living and to okay. pay for school. Um, I mean, they didn't just send you off completely on yeah. your own. For the while. <laughs> yeah. Be free! Good luck! After this session, I'm going to actually write the letter I'm going to send them. Cool. Yeah. I've already written my letter. It says, Hi, Mom and Dad. I miss you. Love, Scarra. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, and I'm like, great. So where do we sign up? And by we, I mean him. <laughs> yeah, how much money? That's okay. I can milk my, my parents for money. Excellent. Lovely to hear. <laughs> Wait, maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> We'd love to have you with us. <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed how expensive looking my clothes are? Yeah, I they're have. a whole 17. <laughs> <laughs> so. And then I say, say to Javine, do you. Did you notice how expensive my clothes look? Sure, I guess. <laughs> Does that mean it's just like, uh, <laughs> okay. You seem really, really interesting, I'd say awkwardly. Uh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I've spoken, I would... I've spoken like a paragraph and have a name. <laughs> I would love to talk about metaphysics again sometime. Sure, yeah. Uh, I look away and blush. And the guide kind of like uh, ushers you out and back into like the administrative <laughs> building. Gives you, yes, some forms, but um, not as lengthy as Scara's. And... Uh -oh. Do I have any questions I need to answer? I mean, like, are you rich? <laughs> <laughs> your <laughs> your name and um, part versus full time studentship, uh, right. and then you know has costs associated with that, and uh, then there are like uh, suggested payment plans, like. If you want to pay for like a full semester up front or not too much work to go through. So it doesn't ask about that, 
blood magic thing. Nope. They oh, don't well. care, probably. They're probably <laughs> just like, we want your money. Okay. <laughs> You, you you could be a murderer for all we care. <laughs> oh, so there's no questions about, like, do you kill people for fun? No. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think I've ever seen a form with that question. A college application Oh, form. well, I guess there could be, like, the normal questions, like, uh, like, you know, like, on a scale of zero to ten, how messy are you? Uh, zero... I clean up other people's dead bodies. Ten, I leave my own dead bodies on the floor. (laughs) Nope, no questions like that. Do you, A, blast loud music, B, blast soft music? But that's like a rooming assignment form and there's no lodging. Oh, right, okay. Okay, I fill out the forms and they are boring and sad. Okay. He also gives you like um a schedule for some of the different classes you can take. Um you don't seem I'll to have to you don't seem to have to sign up for them. You can just like drop in uh on ones and um Ooh, I like that. I'll drop in on all of them. <laughs> and uh he kind of explains how it works that like uh right now you're You'd be considered undeclared, but if you wanted to uh, declare your like uh, major study or something, I then, e. Bart. then um, you'd uh, be suggested to take certain classes and all that. Okay. And everything. I specialize in smashing bees. <laughs> It's not for smashing bees. It's a smasher that contains bees. And it produces delicious honey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, would you like some of my musical honey? Little known fact about an Arhu. Uh... (laughs) (laughs) Whoops. Those are the bees, you guys. <laughs> they sounded angry. Yeah. Well, I guess we can head back to Bly's. Um, on the way, I talked to Skara about how cute that guy was, but I also talked about how cute that archer was when we rescued the cat, and I'm like, how am I supposed to choose between them, Skara? How? And I'm like, well... That other guy was gunning for Edward, so I guess my decision's made. (laughs) (laughs) I also didn't give you descriptions of either of them. (laughs) (laughs) Would you like to now? There's just these, like, blank (laughs) slants. Would you like to give us descriptions of them? Nah, that's okay. It's getting kind of late tonight. Um, I will mention that uh, you did miss an account, an encounter with a potentially cute guy, uh, but I won't tell you uh, like where you would have gone to encounter him. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, thank God. <laughs> we move on. <laughs> Tarsus kind of leads you uh, towards the location enough so that you can find it, but uh, like it's getting kind of late by that point, and she mm-hmm. raises her hand, and she's just like, well, I guess I'll see you when I see you. Um, not going to be around tomorrow, so I don't know. I assume we'll uh, talk with Pars again at some point. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. it probably would have been if I met up with that bard group. <laughs> you just like say that. You're like. <laughs> 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 
and, and I'm like, well, Tarsus, thank you so much for helping us out today. I really appreciate it. I'm like, I should have met up with that bar group now. <laughs> and and uh, she's probably not the hugging type, but I kind of like am like, eh? <laughs> <laughs> she holds up her hands just like, nah. And I'm like, it's okay. I respect you. I'm the hugging type. Yeah. I hug Tlawin. I hug you <laughs> back. Aww. Best friends. Yay! <laughs> I like how we kind of went from being like, we sort of know each other to like, yeah, I babysat for you. I, <laughs> I guess we're pretty good friends. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, okay. Yeah. So we head to Bly's house, which is in yeah. the middle of Bly Street. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> which is in the middle of Bly's neighborhood. <laughs> so I guess I knock on the door. Yeah, we haven't really had speaking parts for Laura for a while. <laughs> yeah, I want I want Laura to come back. Oh, hey, it's that card on the clock. Whoa, weird. <laughs> <laughs> right on the hour, so strange. <laughs> <laughs> that that's instead of like having Watchmen going around saying like three o'clock and all's well, they just like do that <laughs> all over the city. Yeah. <laughs> It's canon now. <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> Careful what you say. <laughs> it doesn't have to be canon if you don't want it to be. <laughs> uh, so who opens the door? Is it Bly or is it Bly's mom? Or is it Bly's mom? Um, Quick, Laura, decide. I'll open the door. Yeah. And I'm kind of disappointed because I was kind of hoping that you guys wouldn't come back. Oh. <laughs> All right. You come in for dumplings. I'm like, no, you. Hi. You can be disappointed because you thought it would have been Jarek by now, but she still hasn't come home yet. Oh. Uh, I'm like, hi. I met a really cool bard. Uh, who I might ask if I can be her apprentice. And we went to a school, and there's a cute guy, and I also didn't meet a cute guy. You don't know that. He knows there's always the potential of being a cute person. <laughs> I say, I just have a feeling. <laughs> and I'm like, you didn't miss much. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Also, she uh, got that test to be a paladin, and she passed. Congratulations. I'm like, yep. I plan on going back there. Yeah, my test was, am I willing to give them my parents money? And I passed, too. <laughs> and we're like, good for you. <laughs> Is the cat still with you guys? Uh, I assume so. Here's Edward. Mm -hmm. Edward's just like, meow. He's probably hungry. Oh, man, that's right. Yeah, I mean, he had some water earlier, but not much to eat. Oh, man, you're right. Oh, oh shoot. Oh. I haven't been taking care of my feet. <laughs> <laughs> we got so distracted with forms and... And whatever, but you can't eat forms. <laughs> well, you can. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, kitty, time to eat some dumplings. <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> no I'm, I'm kidding. Because you like stuff the dumplings with stuff, right? Maybe there's some. I ask, is do you do you have anything? Maybe the cat might like. Mr. Edward, uh, some leftover filling, maybe. Yeah. Beef, <laughs> beef something. 
we can give them some beef into the fridge. <laughs> that was the first meat I thought of. <laughs> like cats eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> we have some that. Cool. Also, lots of fish since you're on the coast. Oh, that's true. Yeah, fish. Um, that's good. Lots of fish. In fact, you can also smell cooking a mildly spiced fish broth. Oh, that smells good. Okay. Edward and I want some of that. <laughs> Seen inside, uh, you can kind of see through an open doorway that Kotro is still in the kitchen. Um kind of humming to herself as she's uh, like finishing things up and um, like she sees that you're back and she greets you excitedly I would guess that not too long after Jarek also comes in and um, she's another lizard folk and she has uh, kind of a sandy pinkish tone and spikes framing her face she is like surprised like she opens the door and is kind of like what's all this oh Bly Bly you're back and friends I hope uh, <laughs> yeah we're really good friends <laughs> best friends we definitely do not get your daughter into trouble or annoyed it's better than what I was thinking that you were like uh, with the law keepers or something and <laughs> well, I had done something, but welcome, welcome. And you know, it would be like emotion, like ruffling the hair, but you know, without the hair part, like she just kind of um, does that to Bly. And... Oh my God, I love it. I want to just stay here forever. <laughs> this is why I want to sleep on your floor. <laughs> I say out loud. <laughs> Not long after uh, supper's ready and you all kind of sit down, admittedly, um, the table's a little small for all of you there, but because, uh, you know, it's more made for three people. I only like count as like half a person. <laughs> I can eat on the floor. You fit well enough at the table. You're not eating on the floor. Anyway, um, it's in kind of like a little nook off the side of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And um, you have, like I said, a mildly spiced fish broth and uh, dumplings that you can dip into it with herbs and with some different fillings um, and then like some sticky date cookies at the end. Oh my god. I want to eat this right now. <laughs> <laughs> like in, in real life, I am re eating it right now in character. <laughs> so is Edward. Edward's like, yeah. <laughs> Let's roll initiative to eat. <laughs> Are you, like, trying to stuff your face? Uh, no, I just feel like I should roll more. Yeah, we didn't really do combat stuff. Didn't do nah. a lot of test stuff either today. <clears throat> I just but rolled that's for okay. how... I had a lot of fun at either way. I that's just good. rolled for how much there were cute guys and how fine my clothes were. Oh, and that one time we ran into the door. <laughs> You're forgetting, like, the, the one real check that I did make where Ben made oh, a performance, performance check. check. Oh, right. <laughs> anyway, you all have a very nice supper. Aww. Yay. Till the Fire yeah. Nation attacked. What? <laughs> <laughs> No, no. We I like ending on this happy note. Yeah. 
so we can have sad notes next time we play. Everybody oh. dies now. <laughs> Roll versus constitution to not die. <laughs> 